Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Nick. I'm one of the farmers here at Grandview, and uh, we're out here early in the morning, getting out in the pasture. It's a beautiful summer day. It's our team's out here taking care of animals. Uh, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to take you along with us, show you what the farm looks like this time of year. So join us for a quick tour, and we'll make stops at all the different animals. My family and I started the farm over 10 years ago with the goal of uh, creating a place that produced food that gave our community uh, an alternative to purchasing uh, food from the industrial food system. So we produce 100% grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, poultry, eggs, and we have help from our partner farms and other local farms for the stuff that you'll see in the farm store, like honey and dairy and all that good stuff. So our first stop out here will be the cattle. Doing a pasture is bring the cattle through. Uh, we have a few different herds. This is our cow-calf herd. So we have calves in here with our cows. Uh, these calves were born this spring. And these cows, we use uh, a single line of electric uh, fencing there to kind of keep the cows where we want. Obviously the calves can go under it. Uh, and then we just move the cows to fresh pasture every day. Here's a pretty good preview of what it looks like. So yes, uh, two days ago, the cattle were down here in this area. And then yesterday they were here. And then today we'll move them up to this area here. Uh, this is a lot of nice tall grasses uh, that have been, uh, this area has been resting for a while. So in general, we um, bring cattle in and then we follow them with chickens mostly egg layers, and then we let the pasture rest for a long period of time. So Will and April are out here. We're getting ready to give the turkeys some more space. They're going to be split up into this uh, additional chicken tractor. So this is a unique time of year because we have turkeys out on pasture. Uh, we'll show you here how this is how we raise our broilers as well. They go in these, uh, what we call chicken tractors. They're floorless so that the turkeys and the chickens have access to pasture, uh, can eat grass and bugs and, and dig. They uh, have fresh water in these red bell waters and non-GMO soy free feed on the side. These structures get moved one spot every day. The turkeys or chickens just walk along with it. Uh, there's, uh, they've gotten to the size where they need another one. So we're gonna split them up and move them into this one as well. Uh, so they have more room. And then as they get a little bit bigger, they'll go into a structure more like the egg layers where we uh, let them out in the pasture during the day. So we'll show you that now. These are our egg layers. Uh, they lay an egg about once a day, a little less than that. They uh, hang out here in the pasture and follow the cattle, clean up manure, uh, eat bugs, thatch, spread their own fertilizer. Uh, this is the structure that they sleep in, so they'll roost themselves at night and they lay eggs here in these nest boxes. Uh, they have apple cider vinegar, grit, um, dust bath, oyster shells, everything they need to be successful in there and then during the day we just open it up and let them out and our livestock guard dog mauser keeps an eye on them and make sure no predators get to them so they'll be out here for a day and then just like the turkeys this structure moves uh one spot and uh, we open them up again the next morning while we head over to the pigs i just wanted to let you know if you have any questions about how we do things here or why we do things uh, the way we do, uh, just throw a comment down in the uh, below and we'll be happy to uh, answer those questions. We also have an FAQ page uh, on our website where uh, we just kind of highlight some of the most common questions we get, uh, usually around uh, how we raise animals, the use of vaccines, um, how we feed animals, how to get our products, all that good stuff. So check out our FAQ page at grandviewfarming.com. We're out now in one of our pig pastures. Uh, we move pigs on pasture just like all the other animals. Uh, they get this area split up by uh, netting here and they uh, get this area for a short period of time and then we move them along. So we'll go check them out. Our pigs really do a wonderful job of changing the landscape, cleaning up uh, old rough pasture and 
uh, turning it into mostly grass so we can graze cattle on it as well as continue to rotate the pigs. You can see though that, you know, pigs can tear up the ground. So that's why it's so important to move them. This is the pasture that they came from. And then this is the pasture they're in now. And we'll just continue to move them to pastures like this uh, every week or two. You'll notice our pigs uh, are pretty friendly. They come right up to us. Uh, so it's because we are out here with them so much. And you'll notice they also have tails and no nose rings. Uh, they, in the industry, they cut tails off uh, to um, keep them from biting each other because they're in confinement. And when they're out here on pasture with plenty of room to run around and plenty of things to stimulate them, that means we can keep their tails. So you can see we have pigs with tails around here, which might not seem like a lot, but it's a big deal. Even though the animals are the stars of the farm here, we do have a venue barn where we host uh, weddings, parties, all kinds of gatherings. So uh, check that out. We have an upstairs here and a downstairs. I'll give you a quick preview. So most of our customers choose to order through our website and then get their order delivered right to their front door. But we also have a store here on the farm uh, that folks come out on the weekends and just shop. You don't need to order ahead of time. You can just come on and shop our selection. So let's go inside and check it out. So for example, this week we have a great selection of uh, beef, pork, poultry, eggs, and then a bunch of local favorites like dairy. Um, we have milk, cheeses, and then a bunch of vegetables. Um, this is a great time of year for all of that stuff. A ton of local favorites here. Our honey is, or excuse me, the honey that we have here from Rousedale is really popular. And then a bunch of other items just to finish out your meal. Thanks for taking this farm tour with me today. Uh, it's been great to show you around. We hope that you come out and experience it for yourself. And uh, like I said, most of our customers choose to place an order online and have it delivered right to their front door, or you can come out and check out the farm store. We also have tours uh, once a month, all through the growing season, spring, summer, and fall. So you can check that out on our website as well. Thanks and have a great day.